Friday, March 20th, the BYU gymnastics team held their final meet of the year against second-ranked Utah. And, Marissa, we had a good meet tonight. Some season records and career highs were set. It was a great meet, Sharon. Both teams actually had a great night. They had We had 11 total career highs between both teams. In rotation number one, BYU was on the vault, where four of the five gymnasts set career highs. Meanwhile, Utah was on the bars. Basket was the winner on the bars. Had a great event for the Utah, starting out with a 49.375. Rotation number two, they would switch it up, and Utah would be on the vault and BYU on the bars. BYU struggled quite a bit on bars, having to count two falls, three falls total, so not a great start for them. Utah on vault had a great start with a B-Jack Kim having career highs on that event. In rotation number three, BYU was on the beam, and Utah took the floor. BYU had a decent event on beam. They only had one fall, so they didn't have to count any. Utah on the floor, they had three career highs, so that was a great going out party for the in the Marriott Center. Rotation number four, they would sw switch it up, Utah on the beam and BYU on the floor. BYU had a great finish for them. Olsen and Goldman having career highs, didn't have to count any falls. They had a great night, and I think they have to be proud from how they uh, started the season and finished. Final rotation scores. Utah's 197-8. It's the second highest score by any team this year in the country. Highest of the season for the Utes. Meanwhile, BYU's total score, second highest of the season for them. So the Cougars finish on a high note that way. They battled a lot of injury and inexperience this year. But Utah will move on to the regionals.